Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing this purple look with the Jackie Ina palette. We're going to be focusing mainly on Shookington and Big Wig. This is a very fun, very festival, I think festival. I've seen people wear a look like this to the grocery store, you do you. But this is also something very much outside of my comfort zone. I don't very rarely go for purples. But I am very proud of how this look turned out and I really, really like it. I used this new foundation. Overall, very much love this palette. This is one of my favorite palettes that Anastasia Beverly Hills has come out with. I've used it almost daily since I've gotten it. I like that I get to explore. I have the option to go for bolder looks, more colors, more fun, vibrancy, and all of that. So highly, highly recommend. The colors blend it so easily. They almost blend themselves. Very smooth, very buttery. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Also, please make sure to like and subscribe this video. Share with your friends. If you guys would like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. We are back again for another video. We are this time starting with the eyes. We're going in first with the P. Louise Shade Rumor Shade in with the P. Louise base in Shade Rumor 2. And we're tapping that in with our finger, you know, getting the most for our bucks. We're blending it out with a beauty blender. Nothing new. Like I told you, I don't like to blend it out with brushes. And I feel like the beauty blender just soaks up that extra that I don't need. And we're starting out with the eyes first because we're going in, as you guys saw, with a beautiful, beautiful purple look with the one and only Jackie Aina palette. I think I, I think you guys are getting bored of this palette. I have used it in so many tutorials. Anyway, we're going to start off with Supreme. And we're just going to pat that in because I didn't set... You know, I know not everyone sets. I didn't set this time. It just makes it harder to blend, but I didn't set my uh, primer because I needed the most ultimate payoff I could possibly get. So we're putting Supreme, Supreme all over the crease. And I don't know if you guys notice this, but it kind of shifts color. I think it warms with the with your body heat or something because that's not like, I don't know if you guys can see the differences between both my eyes, but they are not the same eye <laughs> color. And it's nothing different. It's just a shade. And then we're going in with Pinker, which is right underneath Supreme. We're going to put Pinker right underneath Supreme. It's right next to it on the pan. And we're going to put that on the crease just a little bit, uh, like right below Supreme to, to deepen it up and give it a little bit of depth and also help the transition into that intense purple. And now we're going in with Big Wig. We're going to put that right underneath uh, Supreme. I mean Pinker, sorry. We're putting that right underneath Pinker. It's almost going to go... We're not putting that all over the lid. I mean, we could, because really it's going to get covered anyway with Shookington. But if it's a little messy is what I'm trying to say. Like, don't be afraid of it, you know? And we're just going to blend that. It's going from light to dark, light to dark, up, down. And then we're going to get pinker again on the, on the Morphe brush that we were first using. And now we're going in with Shookington with our finger. And we're applying that on the lid. Again, I like to put these kinds of uh, shades, not necessarily shades, but like this kind of texture, the metallic texture, with my finger. It just, in my opinion, gives me the best payoff. And then we are going in again with Shookington. I mean, not Shookington. 
We're going in again with Pinker and uh, the Morphe fluffy brush to blend it out. It looks very scary, not for nothing, not gonna lie, you know. I'm a little scared and I was very scared during this process. I kind of thought, oh, I'm, oh my God, I am effing this up in more ways than I care for. <laughs> like, yeah, like that big boo-boo I did right there. Mm -mm -hmm. Something about Jackie's palette that just makes my eyes pop. It's those colors, the combination, I don't know, I don't know, but they make my eyes pop. And we are wiping out the excess fallout, you know, that's kind of normal and expected with pigmented palettes. It's never something that bothers me. And we are now going in with Benefit Precisely My Brow, the fifth shade. You know, just fluffing through the eyebrows, nothing different, nothing special. Said I'm gonna win, though the world might spin. Now I'm sitting here like I'm no one. It rains down on me. All the phone calls I'm ignoring, see. I'm a mess, just trying to guess my way through this. It's a fucking game plan. It's a fucking game plan. It's a a few blending spots going back in with uh, mainly pinker and next we're going in with our Too Faced Hangover Primer beer piss you know <laughs> and uh, she's like you know she says some sex active she goes oh, do you think those guys have diarrhea in there it's taking so long Nope. We just put that all over the face, hydrate the skin. We know this. And now we're going in with Too Faced Primed and Poreless. This one definitely worked easier, went better. And we put that all over the T-zone, just on the T-zone though. Again, we're going in with Smashbox Studio Skin, the very full coverage one. Is this a studio skin? The full coverage studio skin. And we go in with shade 212. Again, this is me looking back, realizing I made a mistake when I used my beauty blender. Don't get me wrong, it blends, it blends. It definitely blends, that's what we need. But it just blends better with a brush. And the reason I say that is because I film these videos very close together and I was still kind of getting to know the foundation. And then one day, I, uh, you see, like I even pick up the brush here because uh, so much better. And then I just kind of blot away the excess, any creases that the brush might have given me with a, with a beauty sponge. And that's what I think it works for. And I'm going back to my usual Too Faced in Porcelain, the Born This Way Multi Sculpt Concealer. Blending, very careful to not uh, mess up anything, but definitely cleaning up a little bit. And we're blending our dark circles away, our lack of sleep away, five years out of our life away. If you have kids, you're blending them away. If you're in debt, blending that away. 
We're blending and blending and blending until nothing is left. And we look as rejuvenated as we pretend to be. <laughs> and just brighten up the, the bridge of the nose, underneath the eyes, on the chin. I'm a fan of blending my chin. It kind of makes it look a little, a little cuter, a little perkier. And then we set. I have to set. I'm, I'm not a person that can't go without setting her under eye concealer. So we're setting with the Laura Mercier. Both eyes. The translucent powder. And definitely a staple in my, in my everyday makeup routine. Although I will say I started using a different combination, which I will show you guys in a different video. Oh my god, no pores. My skin looks flawless and airbrush and it lasts like you wouldn't believe. So now we're just kind of brushing that away with the e.l.f. fluffy brush. Don't sleep on e.l.f. brushes, okay? E.l.f. brushes are so good for what they're what you pay for. And now we are putting the lavender Mario Badescu spray all over the face, you know? Melt the powder. I just I just baked a little bit. So we have to melt it. And we're going back in with Shookington on a flat top to finer brush. And we're running that through the, we're tight. Mm, no, we're running that through the lower lash line very, very precisely. Like we don't want to go too, too, too deep down or it's purple, purple, under eyes, darkness, tiredness. What happens so we just blend our life and dead away? No. We will not go back and do that. <laughs> it's like it's like if you have red skin, like I have very red cheeks and I put uh, blush on top of them anyway. The irony. So we are going now with pinker and a little bit of a fluffier tapered brush and we're running that through the lower lash line. Making sure we blend away Shookington. We don't blend it away, but we blend it uh, a little bit more seamlessly. And this is really a very beautiful eye look. It was so scary. It was so scary to do. I can't even tell you guys. Oh, I'm just gonna get a We added a little bit of Zam on the lid just to give it a little bit of a sparkle. And now we are going in with the Glamour Bronze in Icon by Morphe. Oh no, we went in with Soleil. We went in with Soleil and now we are using the Glamour Bronze Bronzer in Icon by Morphe. And we are just, you know, doing what we got to do. We are bronzing the skin. Just don't get enough and now, like I told you guys, we are... I've been practicing with this one, so we're going to use the... ABH Tawny. You see, I think it works better with a fluffy brush and a light hand and just kind of run that and it gives you cheekbones that you didn't have. And now we're going in with the Tarte 101 Amazonian Clay. We're going with those two shades right there. This was a holiday palette. I'm not sure if it's even still out. I feel so bad that I keep using it. <laughs> But anything similar to this, don't look for a uh, super bright pink. Look for a little bit muted because the eyes are very, very, very um, bold and intense and in your face. And now we are going in with Lunar Beauty Venus Moon Prism Powder. This is, I can't even, oh my God, this highlighter. I forgot, but there was another YouTuber that I saw wear it and her skin looks like glass. So I bought it 
because I thought it would make my skin look like glass, but I have too much texture right now. But uh doesn't stop me from wearing it, and it never will because it is so beautiful. And now we're going with my Chanel mascara. Just coating, even layer, top and bottom. This is a very nice mascara. It's not a, a lengthening, but it's definitely a volumizing mascara. You know, okay, I have this thing about uh, ColourPop lip liners. They always do that. Like, you see how that looks right there as I'm applying it? That's not normal. But I have to kind of put it at an angle to be able to put it on my lips. Because if not, it all just plops back inside. And if I put it upside down, it all comes out. It's weird. I don't like that. That's like my one thing I don't like about it. And next we're going with So Hollywood, the ABH liquid lipstick. And uh, yeah, just patting that in with the lips. I'm not a big swiper, I'm more of a tap tapper. Like I apply three little taps of the actual product and then I tap it with my fingers so it dries out and it gives me, in my opinion, the best results possible. I can't go all in. And this is, um, House of Lashes Glue with the Eyelore Soap Luxe Silk Marquise Lashes. These are very good for um, not so much of an extreme lash wear. Like, I'm not exactly used to lashes, but I kind of wanted something that would give me that volume and that depth and that drama, but without being like, you know, ba -ba boom in your face. Like, this is subtle drama. This is subtle. Like, she's like, you know, like, she's like Victoria F., you know? Like, you didn't know if she was really there for Peter or not. And she gave you that subtle drama. And a Peter, I mean, Peter was the actual... Okay, let's, let me just say Peter was the only one that didn't know she was there. She wasn't there for him or not. And she kind of gave him the subtle drama. We could see it, you know? We, the audience, could see it, but Peter couldn't see it. So these are Victoria F lashes in the sense that they give you that little bit of drama you want, they give you that attitude, and they make it, you know, very beautiful. Oh my god, and here it is, and I am so, so proud of this look, you guys. Oh my god, it's so nice. Thank you again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it.